How's it going, everybody? It's me, Shane, and I'm here to give you another Mashal Magic and Muscles episode review. Today's episode is episode 16 of season 2, Mash Burn Dead and the Brawny Balloon. Before I go any further, please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of more reviews just like this one. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Mashal is just the, the highlight of of the week just waiting and constantly constantly being the highlight i mean man unless uh i heard talk that demon slayer is supposed to show up in february i i'm i really hope it doesn't i hope it shows up in march because this is really really good stuff here so mash and a senpai which i forget his name they gave us his name but senpai from adler um, they work together so they can get one of these balloons. Um, it was the guy. We saw him. I think he might have been the first one they zeroed in on when they were showing the other contestants, right? And so you can't share the keys, but it you can't share the keys, but you can form alliances, which Dot did with Finn. I'm gonna get to that later. And um the senpai basically lets mash have the key because first of all mash goes well since you came up with the plan you should keep the key and i'll get another one and mash instantly trusts him when guys like yeah we should work together he's like okay and we get to see wavelengths of his brain because initially it was like this he's like it just goes this and he goes okay guys like you're definitely too nice and he only does this because rain had told him about him and he's like yeah i had to see for myself just how nice you were and so he gives him the key says yeah you go ahead i can i've already knew how to get it i was just figuring this out i just wanted to help you you go ahead because that's what senpais do that's what your upper class is supposed to do but actually what he did was get him out of there when this other jerkwad by the name of i'm just gonna go back because i didn't bother writing his name here. Man, I, I gotta say, the one thing about Mashal makes me feel better about how I name characters because, man, these names. It was Capaccio, I almost said Capriccio, Capaccio Lu Yang, the, the bad guy from, from the uh, Orca, the yellow one. Uh, he fights him. As a matter of fact, the dimensional door that opens up, Senpai falls face for, uh, forward, and this dude stepping on him. You got Mash going. First of all, the guy talks about him being a weakling and talks about the weak uh, weaklings are useless and blah blah. Another one of these people, right? And and apparently this guy's supposed to be on Lance's level. That's what Finn says. He's like, this guy's on Lance's level. He even has someone. Hey, here's a, some water in the towel for you. But Mash goes, "Hey, stop that! Or I'm gonna punch you." which we got an experience of Mash's punching power earlier. Uh, I'll tell you about the, the dead events later, but and I'll tell you about that instance in a minute. But this guy goes, yeah, well, I told you I can do whatever I want because, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I love that Mash straight up goes, yeah, I haven't met anyone that's, anyone here that's actually stronger than me. And by that point, <clears throat> people measure strength differently. So, who is technically the strongest, right? What does it mean to be strong? And he starts, this is the second time Mash is getting confused. He actually confused himself talking about the topic. And they were about to square up. And you get the Miss Announcer, you know, the fake, uh, I, I want to call her fake and Fox Announcer from uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, or fake fish announcer from Yu Yu Hakusho, because that's, that's the vibe she's giving me. Um <clears throat> They can't fight now, but you know, M Mash is going to give this dude a receipt for the senpai that helped him. Even because even now, she goes, Was it necessary to beat him up that bad? And Mash, is, Mash again goes, Was it really all that necessary if you already won? Yeah. But I, I Mash is not cocky. He's sure of himself. He's like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to get it done. But I love the fact he's like, yeah, no one here is actually stronger than me. Mash is actually the most physically strong person there, period. And the crowd and his friends are relearning. And by his friends, I mean his friends at, with Yang, you know, I, Abel, 
Abel Abel, uh, the Love Pink Love Girl, and Abyss Walker. Everyone's relearning h- how freakishly powerful Mash is. <clears throat> so let's talk about info on the Dread of Aunts, right? These damn things, these cross between a Baphomet and a uh, Texas Chain, well, a Butcher. They have been made highly resistant to magic. Remember Silver Lip who's talking about that guy shouldn't be here. He was the first to get eliminated because he was using an example. Ha! Dettovant comes down with the meat cleaver. And now so lady, which by the by, they're able to see everything through these things called Reflesian mirrors. So make sure you don't cheat. And <clears throat> it's a two-way thing. They can hear her. Her or them can hear well, okay, they can hear her, and everyone else, including the announcer, can hear the exam contestants. I won't call them contestants, but exam takers. And this guy, the the rule is, as soon as you t- get touched by the cleaver, the the metal on the the blade, you're instantly transported back there. And that dude was the first one to be gone. It goes from twelve to eleven instantly. People were talking trash to him because he deserved it. Um, but yeah, these things, ugh, apparently these things have poor eyesight. I mean, they have goat eyes, but they have good hearing. And the way that th- all this stuff was set up is the balloons are here and there's a bellow. Well, you would think breaking the bellow would cause all the air to come out. Doesn't. You break it, you still, you know, if you touch this thing, the balloons go off. You got to run from it. You break the bellow, you got to run, come back, and then you got to figure out a way how to pop it. Now... Our senpai, Adler senpai, his magic was, you know, changing the size of things, big, small, because he shrunk Mash so he could escape one before, and he shrunk himself. Now, here's the funny part. Mash hits one in the stomach instantly, and this thing is coughing for air and doubles over, but they are phantoms, as the announcer tells us, and they heal really, really quickly. So, Mash is like, I'm not gonna bother with this i'm just gonna run and just find what i gotta find and most of them every last one of them including dot mostly dot and mash and the senpai have to run and they do like they gotta run away you make a noise you run away um so how did they get the key well after the bell was broken senpai uses magic to increase the balloon to make it massive and then mash in his workout outfit complete with skin tight suit and boxers does break dancing and he's doing the spin the the hand spins and spinning on his head and making a massive whirlwind so you make the balloon you make he increase the size of the balloon and the ballast and all that so that you can break dance put the wind straight into it and expand it enough to pop it and get the key we do see lance using he uses gravity magic, I think, to get it to pop. We don't wear some of the dot use explosions to get it to pop. <clears throat> XYZ, XYZ. And that was very, very smart. I actually I I like that they they made the they made the task more complicated because it's well, I'm gonna try to deflate it, touch the balloon, make some noise. Alright, well then I'm gonna move this, touch the noise, touch it, make a noise. These things keep running in and running out. I like that the senpai said, hey, we're gonna follow these things because they're not moving outside of a certain perimeter. Whatever we're supposed to be getting is probably in the center. <clears throat> um Should I tell you what's coming next or should I tell you about I'll tell you about the funny parts first and then i'll tell you what well no i'll tell you what came next that's how i wrote it i'll tell you so next now there's only nine of them three groups three groups of three each we get a diamond red diamond yellow star blue heart our boys get the blue uh lance and i think lance is what macaroon they get the yellow and some losers we don't care about them I, i i don't know if the jerk that Mash was going to square up with got red or not. But it's three different groups now. And the key of it is each last one of them has a crystal. And the crystal matches. I do find it funny that the Atlas boys get to keep the regular colors. But um, they have this crystal. Protect your crystal. Crystal. And smash the other team's crystals. Where well, these idiots, Mash and Dot, 
drop their crystals the moment they come down. So it's just Finn. And they're supposed to be a, a group thing. So they're like, hey, we'll just protect you and make sure your crystal doesn't get broken. They're transported to the next area. By the way, all these areas look very Castlevania-ish. They're transported there. Finn is alone. What was the point of a team game? He was alone. Finn says, I, I love I love that this show is so self-aware. At least the, the Ames boys are so self-aware. Excuse me. Um... The feats of strength, like when Mash hits the thing and everyone's like, how is he able to do that? And he does the break dance. Like everyone is like sweating, including his, the Lang friends he made. They're just like, oh, this dude is freaking impossible. And just how is he able to do all that? Y'all gonna find out real quick. Uh, Yeah, unfortunately, Lance is not with him. I wonder if Lance... He's going to see Finn first and he's going to go, all right, I'm going to protect you and I'm just going to fight everybody else. I, I wonder. I wonder. Right. Another funny part was. I told you mash mash brain broke three times. Once when uh, the Atlas and Bible explained things to him. Second, when he was thinking about well, what is strength. Third time is when I explain these rules to you. Dada saying, hey. You need to explain it in simpler terms. You know, our captain here is freaking out and he's like, his brain is broken. And she's, she says, oh, just smash the crystals. And he's like, you heard that? You hear that, buddy? And he goes, well, he says, what? He says, uh, Watashi smash crystal in Japanese, but it translates to mash, smash crystal, mash, smash crystal. I think that's hilarious. He also calls Rain Uki no Hito rabbit guy. Right. Um, when Dot's gonna help Finn, he's has so much. He has bad head injury, so he's still spurting blood. And Finn's like, "Well, what about your injury? I'm gonna help you, but but your blood. I'm gonna help you. You're literally bleeding harder. I'm gonna help you. Very funny, very very funny. The the comedy here just keeps on it. If it'd, it'd be one thing if the comedy ever like took a dip. It is consistent. I love how consistent this show has been since last year with the first season. This this is so, so good. Um, oh, wow. I think I have exp- I think I've talked about everything I wanted to talk about. My favorite part, though, for sure, my favorite part is. Uh, just everyone remarking about how strong. Or how freakishly weird and impossible MASH is. I do enjoy that we got another person who we have our sights on to kick their butt. Because he deserves it. He deserves it tenfold. MASH breakdancing, inflatable magic. They want to patrol, alliance time. My favorite funny part. They're trying to be quiet, so they're moving quietly and they're communicating quietly. Atlas and by Mash. And Mash hits a rock, is about to fall, and he goes and Mash does literally the um smooth criminal Michael Jackson lean. And he's just holding himself up. And in Japanese, this means we're good, we're safe. I love their their communication. That was Probably the funniest moment. Didn't see that coming. Yeah, really, really fun. Really, really fun episode. Actually, if I go down here, the next episode is gonna be Finn Ame Finn Ames and the Friend. Yeah, this one, this is kind of a quick review here because a lot of it is definitely um I don't want to say it's definite is more action, but if you haven't seen it, please watch it. <sighs> This uh, mash was about to, mash was worked his way into my top fifteen. It's about to work his way into my top ten because you really get epi- you really get shows that are super consistent like this. Like while I love my Yashihime reviews, while I love Yashihime, there's a lot of up and down with that. Mash has been one of the most stable of uh of series that I've reviewed well, at least last year within these last couple of years. So so much fun. 4.5 out of 5 for me. The 
the comedy is what was hidden and the just the inventive ways of reaching these goals. Very, very interested in seeing what's going to happen to Finn next week. <sighs> but he has to make it, right? I, I just want to know what these matchups are going to be. Take out more of these no-name people before we get to Macaroon, uh, Cap, Cap, I'm going to call that guy Cappuccino, Cappuccino Man. Before we get to them, you got to take out the red folks that we don't even know. There was a, there was a, a female, a female Adler there, a, a woman was there. One of their girl students. I don't know if she made it or not. That'd be kind of sad if that character was just taken out and we didn't get to because we only we've only met Lemon and Love Cute Girl. And who's the other one we met? We met the two that are the divine visionaries. Be kind of sad if we don't get to see another senpai from Adler. I want to see how someone else who supposedly hasn't talked to Rain views MASH. I don't know. A lot of their students, it's it's funny, last season I would have told you, man, these students suck. This season it's like 50-50, it's like some of them suck, but some of them are just like, yeah, no, no, we get it, we're down with what you're trying to do. But with that, let me know what you think in the comment section down below, please. Don't forget, hit the like button, it definitely helps. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of more reviews just like this. Everybody. Be good, be blessed. Make sure you wash your hands. Get you some water, all right? Be good to yourselves, be good to others. Either way it goes, don't be a jerk. And make sure you're staying safe out there, all right? And realize that there are people out there that care about you. Reach out to someone. There are people that would rather see you today than to miss you and mourn you tomorrow, all right? All right? My social media is in the description below. You can follow me on there. You can even follow me on Patreon and donate if you so wish. Well, until next time, can't wait to get more of this show as it as it blinks out into a frosty background. Can't wait to get more of this show. I'll see you guys next time. Muscle out.